everybody, Harold here. Today I want to talk to you about the DAX function is in scope. It's an information function which returns true when a specified column is at the level in a hierarchy of levels. Its only arguments are a column name. It returns true if the column is included in the filter context. It is grouping column for the current row. Single Boolean value, so the only returns true or false. This is a really handy function in hiding things like grand totals in your matrices. Uh, this definition really doesn't tell you about that. So I'm going to take you to the DAX and show you what it does. So let's head on over to Power BI. So here I am in DAX report view. I have two matrices, one with continent, country, and region in the rows, total sales and the values, one with year and category name in the rows, and total sales in the values. So let's see what is in scope does. If I have, let's say I have this table here with continent total sales. What if I didn't want to see the total sales at the continent level? I just wanted to see them at the country level and the region level. Well, isn't scope said in the definition, it works best with the hierarchy. If you're if you want to indicate when there's just one selected value versus many selected values, you would use has one value. If you're working with grant grant totals, hiding them isn't scopes what you want to use. Um, so like I said, if I wanted to show no grand total at the continent level, but grand totals at the country and region level, I could use is in scope. You say, how can you do that? All it returns is true or false. Well, first of all, do a new measure. Let's say, let's blow this up a little, control scroll. Country, is in scope equals, here we choose is in scope, and we just want to go to our territory lookup country, and let's just close that out, drop it in our matrix. Let's commit it. Drop it in our matrix. So we'll drop So we'll drop country is in scope in our matrix and it returns true or false. It returns false at the continent level. Anything above country in the hierarchy, let's say false. France is in the scope of country. The United States is in the scope of country. Central region is in the scope of the United States, so it is also in the scope of country. So the only one that's not in the scope of country is continent. Now, how does that help us with the grand totals? Well, what we need to do now is say and we'll call this country if is in scope 
equals if is in scope territory lookup country what is your is in scope next argument in the if statement is a result of true I want to return the total sales if it's not in scope I want to return blank. With this, and they're all going to counter lookup. Is that? But my cursor are here, so they won't do that next time. And let's drop country if is in scope. So now it's not in scope. Total sales is blank. It is at the country and region level. Total sales is there. False at the total level. False at the grand total level. So is in scope has removed the grand totals, only showing me country and region, no continent, no grand total. Now, I want to show you another use with an iterator. This one won't do grand totals exactly. What we're going to do here is we're going to use it with the rank X. So, new measure. We want to rank our categories by total sale. Total sales. Well, your first instinct would be to cat rank equals rank X. Table is product lookup category. Product categories lookup. Comma. Expression is what do we want to rank by? Total sales. Uh, we'll skip a couple arguments. We'll rank them descending and dents for ties. How did I do it? Whoops. Or we think that ought to do it. So let's drop cat rank in our table, our matrix. Well, they're all one. Well, this is a refresher on the use of all. We need to say rank X product categories. Well, here, all, we remove all filters for product categories look up. Category name. Close our all. Let's try this again. That's looking a lot better. One, two, three, four, blank, so four, nothing. One, blank, two. So that's ranking them good. We got a problem though. The number one rank in every year is the grand total. That's not an accessory. That's the grand total. The total total is number one. 
in this case, another great way we can make use of is the scope. So let's take our cat rank and wrap it. So we can add an if tab this over. And after our if, do is in scope. What do we want to look at? Product categories, lookup, category name. So if that's in the scope, we want to return. Rank X, all product categories, lookup category name, total sales, sending order, pins for ties. So that's the art first argument, result of true in our if statement. Now, result of false, it's just blank again. So we commit that now. Escape, get off of there. Now you see we have the true ranking. One, it's a total, two, blank, tied, dense. One, two, three, four, 20, 20, 20, 21, 20, 22. No longer have a rank. So these rankings are now truly correct. And that is a great way to use is in scope. And that's about all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like it, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks, everybody.